Hello children. Today we are going to learn a very interesting and easy concept that is backward counting. What is backward counting? What is like if I tell go back? What is that? That means to say you have to step a one step back. That is today we are going to do the counting backward. That is uh, if I tell you count one to ten. How do you count one? Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Now, if I tell you count it backward from ten to one, how do you do it? Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Right? Okay. Now let's see a simple story to understand the backward counting. All right? Come on. You know who is this, children? This is Johnny and this is Johnny's beautiful home. Johnny, to go to his school, he has to take 10 steps. Then he can reach his school. Let's see. Yes, his school is here. If he takes 10 steps, he can reach his school. Same way, if Johnny takes the 10 steps backward, he can reach back his home. Let's see how Johnny goes to school every day. Yes, he counts the 10 steps and goes to his school. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And Johnny's school is here. Now Johnny reached his school by counting 10 steps and he reached the school. Now once the school is over, Johnny has to go back home. Let's see how Johnny go back home by counting backward. That is 10, 9, 8, 7, Six, five, four, three, two, and he's about to reach his house. One, and Johnny reached his home happily. Hey, Johnny reached home happily. Did you see how many steps Johnny counted to reach his school? That is one, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Now, from the school, what did he count? He counted in a backward. That is ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Johnny is here back home. Hello parents, hope the story was very simple and easy for the children to understand the backward counting. You can also play a lot of games with them to make them understand and practice the backward counting. That is you can even draw 10 circles to them and a label of 1 to 10 and you can ask them to jump each circle by counting and then come back that is the backward counting 10 to 1 to reach to the start point or you can when you're doing exercises you can even uh, practice by counting also like which we regularly do it in the schools like 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 8 7 6 5 4 3 2 1 so uh, you can even practice through exercise counting and uh, there's lots more way which you can easily do it it's it's actually very simple okay and give them a lot of practice practice makes them perfect so once the backward counting is very much familiarized before number is easy for the children to identify it and learn it okay so hopefully this video helps you all to teach the children the backward counting see you again in the next video give your valuable feedback to us in the comment section and do mention which is the next concept you would like to learn and which video you want me to do it. Thank you.